Okay, now I record. Okay, so notice these reps and times. Sometimes you're going to do stuff for reps. Sometimes you're going to do stuff for time. So a lot of times these reps fit into this timing protocol. Okay. Now muscular strength. The tempo of this is time under tension. Time under tension. That is the key to building muscular strength or building muscle. Time under tension. Okay. Time under tension means exactly what I'm saying. It is. It's your time under a tension of weight, making your muscles kind of work. Generally, your target heart rate is going to be between 60 and 75 percent. That's going to deal with your breathing. Your load is going to be between 60 and 90 percent of your one rep max. Your reps, no say, I have dot 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 three to 12. Sometimes it's going to be reps of one, but usually between three and 12. And your timing on those is going to be between 15 and 35 seconds. Okay. So again, timing versus reps. It's something that's going to be over your head. And I'm going to go over this a lot in the next six weeks. Your timing sometimes fits into your reps. So a lot of times if you're doing three reps, it's going to take you about 25 sec 20, 25 seconds going to fit into this kind of time frame. Okay, kind of thing. Now flexibility, a little bit different, a little bit kind of a different compound, but you still could do, you could do flexibility training with weight training. You just got to go full range of motion and you got to go slow to resistance. What I mean that is you got to go to your maximum flexibility point at that point. Obviously, you're lifting heavyweight. You're not going to want to do it all the time, but generally, you go to go to the point of resistance. Your target heart is going to be 40 to 60 percent range. Your load is going to be natural resistance, and what I mean by natural resistance, you can have load, but the natural resistance where your flexibility is going to take you at that point. You don't want to force flexibility. That's how you get injuries, possibly. Um, it's going to be isometric isometric that means we're going to take it out to full length of motion and hold it and timing is generally going to be between 15 and 45 seconds now what i did down here is i did some goal examples all of them with a hit style workout a hit style workout okay because i could do a hit style workout to fit in all of these categories so i did for cardio respiratory i picked the same exercises for each jumping jacks push-ups and squat jumps like we're going to do on thursday and notice that the workout, 45 seconds on each of the cardio respiratory, 15 second breaks, three rotations. 40 seconds on each, 20 second breaks, five rotations. Muscular strength, 12 reps with resistance. Same, but I mean, how do you do jumping jacks with resistance? Well, if you put a set of five pound dumbbells in your hand, that could be with resistance. Again, time under tension, slow and controlled. Push up 12, squat jump 12. 30 second breaks, five rotations. Now jumping jacks to full range of motion, you might want to come all the way up and hold, all the way down and hold. Push-ups all the way down to the bottom and hold, like those hand release push-ups I talked about. Squat jumps all the way down to the bottom of a squat and jump up three sets of each, okay, kind of thing. Notice we could do this with all this. This is what you're going to learn how to do, okay? I've been doing this for a long time. I did this like in five minutes. I'm going to put these examples up there of different things. My goal is to have a whole glossary of examples so you can fit into your goals. Okay, now, no matter what your body composition goal is, okay, when, and when I say body composition, some of you might be, what, what is that? So right now, my body composition goal is to get under 10% body fat and over 200 pounds. That's my body composition goal. Right now, I am 195 and I am 10.7% body fat. So I still got body fat to lose, but I want to put on muscle. So I need to hit all types of these workouts. Now, granted, I'm struggling on the flexibility stuff right now, but I'm going to work on it, and I'm going to get that. Okay? So that's a little bit of kind of review, but yet going a little bit in depth on program design there, and we're going to talk about it. And keep in mind, this week, guys, you are only designing a workout, and I'm going to give you total parameters. I'm going to have you pick one from each section, and you're just going to pick the timing of each and rotate through. I don't expect you to do it as in-depth as I just did it. Does that make sense? Uh, yes. Oh, good. Thanks, Brian. Brian, I love having yes, you in class. Sir. You guys yes, want to hear sir. a funny story? Brian told me he would never take my class because he thought it was too hard. And look where he is now. Now he's in my class. Loving it, huh, Brian? You told oh. me. I know. Well, I made you, huh? Well, it was, cool. last, it was last year you oh, told yeah. me about that. Two years. Yeah. Oh, good okay. joke. Good joke. I am a yes? Uh, <laughs> have you done TikTok? Oh, yeah, I'm a TikTok star. I'm, I'm a star and I'll make tick. If you guys, if you guys want me to make more TikToks and you guys will watch them, I'll make more TikToks. 
guess. But we'll talk no, about I'm, that. If you get payments, I'm on the Zoom. Probably won't be known anywhere else. Okay. All right. All right. Let's get back on track, guys. Let's get through the list, and then we can hang out if you guys need to. All right. So, guys, now we're going to go on, and we're going to go through our movements. Okay. Now, guys, I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint real quick because I want you guys to process these a little bit. So if we look at our movements today, guys, we're going through, and I want you to analyze what they probably mean, okay, if you haven't looked at them. We're going to start on the mountain climbers, squat jumps, sh shoot throughs, and sprawls, okay? Um, all very hard movements, guys, so I'm going, to, I'm going to spend a good amount of time on them, but right now what I want you guys to do real quick is I want you to go to the movement glossary. Does everyone know where the movement glossary is? So go to resources and go to the movement glossary, and I want you to watch the video on all four of these moves right now. I'm going to give you three minutes to do that. Okay, just watch a quick thing. Go ahead and do that. I'll play some music and I'll let you guys go do that. Everybody understand uh, what we're doing? Oh, uh, where was that? I. So go to resources on the main page, on uh, the Canvas page. Resource on the Canvas? So go to the home page and go to resources. Courses, resource. And do you see movement glossary? Is it the movements? Yep. And look up mountain climber, squat jump. Shoot through and sprawl. Uh, find it, Brian? Couldn't find a link. OK, here, I'll, I'll help you out. Thanks. Let's watch this. So if I go. But my Hold on one second, guys. So, guys, if I'm everyone can see my screen, if I go, if I go to home, right, and I'm right here. And then I see resources over here. I click on resources. I go down to movement glossary. Okay, and we're doing these four today. Mountain climber, squat jump, shoot through and sprawl. You got it now, Brian? Yes. I'm a good helper, huh? The sure one is. for shoot throughs says yeah. that the page doesn't exist. Oh no. Hold on one second. Okay, I'm gonna have to fix that. Thank you, Josie. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Hold on, let me do this real quick. Let me show you what I see, guys. So I'm gonna go here to my pages, review all pages. Okay. I think I had the wrong page on there. Okay. So I'm gonna go home resources. I'm gonna go to movement glossary. I'm gonna go to edit. You guys are learning how to build a website right now. Most of you probably already know because you guys are smart kids. And I'm gonna go here to shoot through and I'm gonna highlight it. And I'm gonna go pages. Shoot through, and then I'm gonna go save. Now try it, Josie. Does it work now? I'm still loading it. Okay. But yeah, it works now. We're all going to have technology issues. We just got to get through them one breath at a time. All right, make sure you guys study those so you have an idea. And then I'm going to demonstrate. You guys are all going to get to laugh at me. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, shoot through. 
Does it look hard, Brian? No, I thought I, I it was a different item I saw on video. Oh. How does it work? The shoot through. I will explain it all. Wait, the shoot through page does not exist for me. So, so make sure you refresh your computer because I just I just updated the site. Oh, okay. So yeah, because it, it, I had the old page that I was making. So guys, if you've considered yourself an advanced athlete or you're advanced at these, if you pick these four exercises and did a workout with them today, like I know my buddy Easton Schwab's gonna do, right, Easton? You know, so these these are gonna get you. These are gonna tax you. I, I know I'm gonna get tired. That's why I'm wearing my cowboy hat for power today. All right, guys, so I'm gonna get started with this. Okay, I'm gonna go over here to my movement camera. Everyone see me okay? Good to go, we hear me okay? Brian, Lee, you hear me and see me okay? Yes, I can see you. I hear you loud and clear. All right, <clears throat> so guys, first thing we do is a mountain climber. Now, a mountain climber is commonly done kind of wrong, but I wanna demonstrate it from this point of view here. First of all, on a mountain climber, I want to keep my back totally straight when I'm here. So I'm going to be in push-up position, and I'm going to bring my knees up. Now, a lot of times, people will be on a bursa climber machine, and they'll do this kind of movement. Okay. Okay, this kind of movement. But we're going to do this without using our, our arms. We're just going to use our legs. So we're going to come down in push-up position, like so. We're going to get in push-up position, and we're going to bring our knees up to our elbows, like so. Boom. Notice, I don't bring my behind up. My back totally flat, like so, about cut. And I move my feet as fast as I can. From the side view, okay, notice my back is totally straight. Knees come up, I'm cutting. Back totally straight, knees come up, okay? Some people do a wide mountain climber too, when they take their legs out wide. Some people do a cross mountain climber, where they cross their feet over, okay? But we're just gonna do a regular mountain climber. All right, go and try a mountain climber. <laughs> Back totally flat and bring those knees up to those elbows. Good, Alex Blas. Good, Wyatt. Good, good, good. Just try a couple reps. Any questions? Oh. No. Nope. Okay, go ahead and come back. All right, next one we're going to do is a squat jump. Okay, we went over the squat before, and I don't mind if you've got a chair and use it on this one too. Okay, to start off with, we grab our little chair. Okay. The only difference is when I get to the bottom of my squat, now I'm going to make sure my feet are planted and I'm going to explode straight up, leaving my feet. Jump legs. Okay, that's step one. Try that first. But eventually, what I want you doing is being able to touch your ground with opposite hands without a chair. Okay, so you're going to come down to the squat, touch your ground, jump up, other hand comes down. Like so. All right, notice, remember the squat form, butt comes back, down, up, and jump. Down, up, and jump. Go and try it. Good, Wyatt. Remember your squat form, Brian. Good, 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 good. All right, everyone come back. Are there any questions? All right, now. We're going to go on to our two hard ones. Okay, first one's a shoot through. Okay, now, in a shoot through, the first thing we got to understand is how to get in position. We are going to get in a knee bent, I call it a bird dog position. So what you're first going to do is you're first going to get down on your hands and knees. Now, on your hands and knees, your knees are right under your hips, your hands are right under your elbows. Once you do that, you're going to take your toes on the ground and slightly lift your knees off. Now. Here's the hard part. I'm going to rotate my body to one side, okay? So I'm going to rotate towards you. I'm going to rotate, okay, bring my elbow up, and now I'm going to take my foot through all the way to here. Notice my foot comes up, my chest is facing the sky. 
Come back through, place that foot down. Other way. Come back through, go slow, foot comes through. Scott, now. Oh, God. Come on. <laughs> this is going to be difficult. I, I, I know. You think? Stop. Coming right at you. Now, watch closely, guys. I want you to understand one thing. To make it a little more difficult, if you want, you drop your hip every time you come down. Now, keep in mind I'm here. I'm going to come here. Now, watch how I drop my hip. See how I drop my hip to the ground? Boom, there. Come back the other way. Here. Back the other way. Here. And you'll get better and faster at it. All right, but I want you guys going slow for the start. Really good one for the core, all the upper body, everything. Ready? Go and try it. Go slow. Go slow. Oh, God. If your first step is just holding that bird dog position, that's fine, too. It's not easy. Oh. Oh, yeah, not oh, bad, Marlon. I can tell you do have 45. All right, go ahead and come back. I'm folks for that time, so. I want everyone, everyone to come back. I want you guys to stop for a second. I want to, I want to. Okay. So, guys, here's my question for you. Okay, on that one, that's probably a progression one. I wanted to put in these advanced ones for our advanced kids, but that's probably a progression one. So, what I mean by a progression one, let me, let me get in front of the camera and explain to you is if you have so much trouble doing it, the first step might be just to get a bird dog position to hold it. Notice I'm in this position. My knees are off the ground. I'm back straight. Just holding this position might be hard for some of you. And some of you next step, I just need to rotate one side slightly. Okay? This is where the principles of progression come in. What I talked about in week zero. Okay? Principles of progression. you got to know where you are. Okay? But eventually, for the, for the flip grid, I want you to try to rotate and try to just bring that foot through. I don't care if you only get to here. That's a step. I don't care if you only get to here. That's a step. Eventually, we want to get to here. We want to get to here. We want to be able to control our body. Okay, are we good? Everyone give me a heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, oh, hell yes. All right, now we're going to do a sprawl. Okay, there's many forms of sprawls. This form of sprawl requires us to basically get our feet back. Another tough movement, okay? Mm -hmm. If you notice I'm at an angle, I'm gonna squat down, I'm gonna put my hands down like I'm doing a burpee. I'm not gonna do a burpee, but I'm gonna put my hands down like I'm doing a burpee. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna put my hands all the way down. Notice my hands are inside my feet. I'm gonna kick my feet straight back. Now I'm gonna bring my feet up. But when I bring them up, I want them to be flat on the ground. Flat on the ground. So watch again. I come down, kick my feet back, kick my feet up flat, and then I bring my hands up, back is straight. Hands down, feet back, feet up, feet are flat, hands are up, back is straight. Go and try it. Sprawl. All right, everyone come back. Everyone come back. Because I'm seeing a little bit of mistakes, and that's fine, guys. That's what I expected. That's fine. This is the culminating point of room mastery. Some of you guys are still doing this. You're bringing your feet inside here like this. Remember, I talked feet are outside of hands, so this is the first step. You've got to understand on a sprawl, this is where I start from. Here, and then I come back to there. Here back to here okay so that's what you got to understand that watch the video the video has a lot of stuff on it i am recording this lesson too it's going to be online you're going to go back and record it you can go to my youtube channel i have a youtube channel now so famous okay but once again let's review all four i want to do all four we'll pick mountain climber back straight here boom after mountain climber we have squat jump I want you to try opposite hand, touch the ground, touch the ground, squat jump. After that, we have shoot through, 
Bird dog position here. Rotate. Rotate. Notice how my foot comes down. Rotate. Rotate. And then we add a sprawl. Here, hands to the ground inside the feet. Back. Feet flat. Back. Feet flat. All right. We come back here. Boom, boom, boom. All right, guys. So, whew. can everyone see me now? Am I back on? Uh, Coach Joe? Yes, Brian. The floor is too slippery for me. So, first thing I notice is, guys, that brings up a good point. You guys need to be wearing shoes. Were you wearing shoes or just socks, Brian? Socks. Oh, so you need to be wearing shoes. And you guys need to be in PE clothes, especially for these workouts. If you try to do shoot-throughs and sprawls and jeans, you're not going to be able to do them. Okay, so you want to make sure you do them. Does that make sense, guys? Yes. Okay. All right. So, guys, let's go back through what we went today. I'm going to go back to my PowerPoint. So, so far today we review program design a little bit. I'm going to end up posting that on there based on your goal. That's more advanced to what you're going to do this week. Let me let me actually go somewhere else and show you guys. We go to our website, guys, and you look what you're not doing this till Friday. You're not doing your program design till Friday. But if you look at Friday, how we're going to do it. So what you're going to end up doing, guys, is you're going to end up picking one from each group in the movement gallery, okay? So one from the mobility group, one from the strength group, and agility group, okay? You're going to pick the time for each exercise in the break. So it's going to be very similar, guys, it's going to be very similar to what we're going to do Thursday. So, so keep in mind, after Thursday, you're going to have a better idea. So I basically want to want you to do the same workout that I did on Thursday, okay, but pick different exercises. So you're going to notice on Thursday, I'm going to do a jumping jack, a push-up, and a squat jump, jump with you guys, okay? And we're going to do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So you're going to do that same timing. You're just going to pick three exercises and do it, okay? So it's going to be easier than how I'm explaining it to you now, okay? Now, on Thursday, guys, you're going to have to have enough room to do these workouts. Like I look at like Marwan on there. So you're going to have to find a place in your house where you have enough room to work. We're going to do the workout together. We're gonna, you guys are gonna see me sweat. That doesn't sound exciting, no? You're gonna see me work hard, okay? So we're gonna do this workout together on Thursday, all of us, okay? I, guys, I don't care if you have your camera off, I don't care, I just gotta trust that you're doing it because I want you to feel it because I want you to take this workout, okay? And I want you to design your own based on your goals with three different exercises and possibly different timing, okay? So you might, for example, I look at Matthew, a football player. He might want to do the three different exercises, but he might want to do 35 seconds on, 20 seconds off, but go for five rotations, okay? And all you're going to be responsible for doing is showing me one rotation of the exercise on Flipgrid. Okay, now let's ask questions. Are there any questions so far? No? Did I explain that okay? Um, and I'll explain just, again on Thursday. Yes, Catherine. So for today, do we just have to demonstrate how to do it? Yeah. Like one of for today, steps? guys, and I, I apologize. I do get ahead of myself on this stuff. For today, and I'll go back to my list here. For today, guys, if you look at the screen, today we're only on Tuesday. Today you just have movement mastery number four. Okay, movement mastery number four is, you know, just like you did one, two, and three. Okay. You're just going to demonstrate those movements, turn them in. But make sure you guys practice because those movements are pretty hard. Okay, they're not the easy, the ears aren't the easiest movements. That's why it's number four. Okay, also a reminder, guys, remember you have two Mount My Runs this week. Okay, we're really starting to get into exercise. I slowly progressed you in. Now we're really starting to get into exercising. Okay, you have a Mount My Run on, um, on Wednesday and on Friday, dude. They don't have to be done on Wednesday and Friday, but they need to be turned in on those days. Okay, that's where we're trying to really tighten up our work stuff, okay? So you could go out and do your run today and turn in for Wednesday, 
and do your run on Thursday and turn in for Friday if you don't want to have a lot to do Friday. Okay, you could start designing your workout Thursday night and turn in Friday morning or do your workout during this class Friday and do it. All right? Does that all make sense? Are there any questions? Now, let me ask you guys, as we go into our live talk, how am I doing? Am I doing okay? And, and guys, I, I don't want you to just tell me that because, you know, you possibly, you don't want to please me or whatever. Guys, I want to make sure you guys understand this stuff. Because PE, and this is my live talk for the day, guys, I, as you could probably tell, I'm very passionate about PE. Like, I love PE. Okay, I love it. And the one reason is is because this is a chance you get to take something from this class and you could do it every day of your life. Okay, you could get into fitness every day of your life. And that's why I had you guys watch that 17-minute video on the importance of physical education. And all the feedback you guys got from me was like a lot of you were shocked. You know how shocked. If you look at the size of PE classes between your other classes, right now we have 49 people in this class. 49 people. Go to all your other classes and see how many of them you have 49 people in the class. Okay? You know, and, and you guys are learning. How many guys by a thumbs up have learned something in this class this year? By a thumbs up. Good, good, good. You know, some of you, some of you maybe not, you know, or whatever, but my goal is to get you guys to learn so you can take this with your everyday life. There's no doubt that when you work out and you feel better about yourself, and it's not how you look necessarily, it's how you feel. You feel good by working out. That you perform better in all aspects of what you do. You perform better in school. You perform better in the job or the workplace. You perform better as a friend, being a friend, being there for someone, because you feel better. Okay, it's proven. It's proven facts. Okay, so if I could get you to have an idea of how to work out, no matter what level you are, I don't care if you're a bodybuilder. I don't care if you've never once spent a day working out. If I could get you to have an idea and do it, and if maybe I could turn in you for you to a personal trainer for your family, have your family do the workout with you Friday. Get your little brother, little sister, mom, dad, aunt, uncle. Bring your dog. Have one of them do the workout with you. Okay, everybody will feel better. Okay, it, it's proven facts. Okay, hopefully through these Mount My Runs, you're starting to get a little bit out of it. You're starting to feel a little better, feel a little better about yourself. Problem is you don't want to start off gung-ho. If you used to be a runner, you don't want to go out and run three miles tomorrow. Okay, because your body won't react to it. Your body's going to be like, oh, no, hold on a second. What are you doing? We've been sitting all through quarantine. But you got to build up to it. you got to build up to it. Me, I, I try to take quarantine, you know, and the COVID by the horns and really – Really get, I'm trying to get in the best shape of my life. If I get over 200 pounds, under 10% body fat, I'll be the best shape of my life. Okay? And it's not an ego thing. It's not like I want to look better than anyone. It's just it's a personal goal for me to kind of do. Okay? And that's what you got to do. You got to set personal goals. And we're going to go over goal setting. Goal setting has got to have benchmarks, guys. Just like this class, we got to have benchmarks. We didn't learn how to solve that major calculus problem before we knew one plus one. Okay? It's all about benchmarks. And if you notice, that's how we started the class. That first week, you guys didn't do any exercise. You just kind of learned how to use it. Second week, basically all we did was one map my run. Okay, that was week one. Week two, we started in a map my run and we started going through movements, started moving our body. Now this week, we're doing two map my runs and a workout. Oh my gosh, we're slowly progressing. And eventually we're gonna get to a point where hopefully second quarter when we come back, all we're doing is working out every day. Okay, and you guys have personal goals. And me and Coach K are just tracking you guys getting it all done. Okay? So, guys, stay positive, stay confident, and don't forget, I'm here. If you guys need anything, go and email me. Hopefully, I get to meet your parents at Back to School Night tonight virtually. Um, remind your parents that I sent them all an email with the questionnaire. If they have any questions, just tell them to write in that questionnaire because I'm not going to have a chance to talk to 49 parents, <laughs> you know, on Zoom. So, I'm, I'm going to keep them all muted. You know what I mean? And, and they're going to, if they have questions, tell them to send me questions. Are there any questions or complaints? Okay, last thing I'm going to say to you guys. This is culminating in my life. Where are the guys. tutorials? What's that, Broyles? Where are the tutorials? The tutorial. Oh, if you go to resources, then movement glossary. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Last thing I'm going to say, guys. High school is a very rewarding yet tough time of life. Okay, I, you'll hear me say this a lot. Being a high school girl is probably the toughest job in the world. And guys, it's a, it's a tough job. I've never been a high school girl. I can't totally relate. 
but I see how high school boys are and see I see how high school other high school girls are. It's a tough job. Okay? So what I will tell you guys, and you've heard me play this song. If you live by the words of being humble and being kind, it's a country song. I know probably none of you listen to country. Be humble and kind in everything you do. Try to go do a kind service for someone today. It could be something as simple as thanking your parents. Something as simple as thanking someone that's important. Go thank your third grade teacher. Send them an email. You know, do something kind today and stay humble. You know, apologize for something you've done. If you stay humble and kind, you will make your high school experience more rewarding around everyone. And granted, there's going to be people in high school that are going to be immature, that are going to be not very cool, um, not very nice to you, but stay humble and kind. That's one thing you might notice that I take pride in. I always try to stay humble. I always try to stay kind. Yes, I am sarcastic at times. I am sarcastic at times, but I always try to lead by example by being humble and kind. So I want you guys to try to do, do that today. Take it by the horns. Do your movement mastery. Start thinking about your program design. Do your map my runs. Get all that stuff in. Stay humble and kind and take deep breaths. Take deep breaths. Okay? All right? Any questions for me? Okay? All right. Hopefully you guys have a great day. I won't see you again until Thursday. Um, get those map my runs in, get the boom mastery in, and have a great day. Do your exit tickets. Bye, Coach Joe. Bye, guys. Bye, Bye Coach, Coach Joe. Bye, Coach Joe. Hey, Bye, Joe. Bye, Bryles. Coach. Um, Coach Bye, Joe. Coach. Bye, Coach. Yes, Miles. Bye, Coach. Um, my Wi-Fi like cut out like during some of the exercises. Is okay. there somewhere I can like? Yeah. So if you go to resources and then you go to the movement glossary, there's, there's going to be one there. Also, I'm going to put, I'm recording this whole lesson and I'm going to put it online after this. So you go watch what you missed. Okay. Thank you. No problem. I was anytime. Hey coach. I have a quote for you. Well, what's up, Alex? I have a quote for you from middle school, my middle school teacher, actually. It's pretty cool, actually. What's it say? Mistakes are proof that you are trying. The what? Mistakes are proof that you are trying. This is, cool. this is cool for my teacher, Andrew Middleton. He's a pretty cool guy. Sweet. Anyway, I'll Bye. see you later. Have a good Bye. day. Bye, you too.